Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Now, we're going to deal with blaming everybody else but moi. He's to blame. She's to blame. If they didn't do what I told them not to do, I wouldn't be in the fix I'm in. If they didn't run away when I got angry, I wouldn't have had to inconvenience myself and take the kids to school, ergo making myself late for work. But they were running away from you because you were getting ready to pick up a bat and beat them into the hospital. They saw that coming. So they are surviving. That's what you call flight. You are protecting yourself. And that's what they did from you. But now you're upset because your rage caused them to flee. Now you're stuck with having to take the kids to school. Oh, tis, 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 poor pitiful you. It's always everybody else's fault, isn't it? It's never yours, is it? Hmm. Yeah, well, let me tell you. All the confusion, all that anger, all the hissy fitting, all the crap that's, that's blowing wild in your life, you need to sit down and take an inventory, buddy. If you have lost control of your temper, if you are at the point where anything goes with you, you screw whoever you want to screw, you slap down whoever you want to slap down, you rip off whoever you rip off, you, you cuss out whoever you want to cuss out, and everybody just has to deal with you because while they deal with you, you're just being real. You're being a real pain in the butt. Then you wonder why nobody wants to go anywhere with you. You wonder why your wife doesn't want to make love to you. That ain't making love. All you're doing is raping her because you just got through beating her. What makes you think that now you're enticing to her after you have inflicted pain? Are you that sick? All right. Now, for those of you who think you can go around demanding things of everybody. And if they don't come through for you, it's their fault. Let me tell you something, baby cakes. Nobody owes you anything. I don't care how much money and how many rights and how much of entitlement you think you have a right to. Nobody owes you a thing. You get your heels to clicking. You get on the internet and you find out how to take care of yourself. You find out how to generate funds. You find out how to get skills. You do what you have to do. So you can finally move out of mommy and daddy's house. And quit laying up on them calling your mom every time you get a sore throat. Like a big baby. You get up off your duff and quit looking around for women to take care of you. So you can screw, 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 screw. You lay around watching TV. She comes home from work, paying all the bills. And you talk about, get me the uh, can of beer, baby. Get me a this, get me a that. And you left the house a mess. And then get mad at her. Because she's too tired to clean up after a, a slubbernly lazy old bum. Yeah, I said it. Because, see, sometimes we don't see reality until somebody slams it in our face. And since I'm not the violent type, now that I'm saved, I have to use my words to force people's eyes open. And I ask God for the anointing of the Holy Spirit to convict people of truth. If you are trifling, you need to know that. Because if you don't know it, and everybody is too afraid to tell you, you will never think you have anything to change. It's always everybody else's fault. Hmm. Hmm. 
It's their fault, not mine. Oh, yes, buddy. Your stuff stinks. There's nobody wants to deal with your temperament. And see, that's one of your manipulative ploys. You manipulate people to stay off your back because you don't want to hear it because you really don't want to change. You want everybody else to accommodate you. So what you do is you roar, you holler, you have hissy fits, you have adult temper tantrums, you go into an uproar every time somebody tries to tell you a little something about yourself. Mm -hmm. Because you are not man enough to handle the truth. Because you're not man enough to want to change. You don't want to man up. You want to boy down and play. And have the ladies take good care of you. Bring it over here, baby. Well, what you got to bring to the table? When was the last check you laid on the, on the table to contribute to the household? Mm-hmm. Some of y'all ain't gonna like me, but I'm gonna tell the truth anyhow. Because we don't grow without truth. Jesus said, we shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. You really want to be free. You really want to get all you can out of life, be all you can be as a man, as an adult, as a mature husband or wife. You really want to be all you want to be. Or do you just want to lay back, let life happen, while everybody delivers things to you on a silver platter? And you end up becoming everybody's dead weight for them to carry. I know your mama's the only one that parted her legs to spit you out. But even she doesn't deserve that. Grow up. Man up. Step up to the plate contribute do something for somebody else for a change quit thinking about me 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 what about me think about it 